completed at 99 bucks, this thing's a steal. You know, for those of you out here who understand what a buffered multiple is, this may seem redundant. However, I just really want you guys to understand the full function of a buffered mult. So right now I have on our fantastic MST System 104 here with three oscillators, a little more than a Mini Moog can offer you, although a Mini Moog's beautiful, it's just a little nicer. Um, we have a buffered multiple right here, the 07 buff mult created by George Matson, and it is receiving a CV source from our noise sample and hold that is being generated by the VCLFO. So we've got a changing pitch, and what we're doing here is, as you can see here, I have plugged in that CV source into input one. All of the rest of the outputs are going to be voltage essentially identical to the voltage input. So whatever you give it, if that's off a keyboard, if it's off a sample and hold, if it's off a random, or really any voltage source, it's going to be the same thing, modulation source, whatever. So we've plugged that output source into the input, input one. Now input one normalizes to input two, input two normalizes to input three, and input three normalizes to input four, giving you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 outputs of the same control voltage source. So if you somehow want 14, you are good to go. However, if you want just 10, plug it into two, it'll give you all the other ones and you can still use number one as its own four output system because you understand this is cascaded inputs. Every time I put a cable into one of these input jacks, it does everything after it is going to be all those same voltage outputs until I plug something in. So if I'm going to input four here, I've got one, two, three outputs of just the input of output four. And if I plug something into input one, I've got all of them. So I think this makes sense. It allows you to have many sources at the same time, um, or it allows you to have one source with multiple outputs. It's very exciting. So for example, let's say we have three oscillators like on this nice 104 MST system, and we wanted to have that control voltage so all of these VCOs are in tune. I would take uh, one of these control voltages, put it into the one volt, one volt per octave input into my third oscillator here. I can take uh, a one voltage per octave input here into this one, which is the first one, and then, oops, I threw a cable up here. Let me uh, take another one of these outputs and put it into this one volt per octave input on this third oscillator. And all these are going to be in tune because we are multiplying it in a buffered sense. So what is in is, is pretty much what you're getting out almost essentially. And it's going to sound in tune. So it's, uh, it's very exciting. Um, obviously, in a very small 4HP package, it is certainly uh, one of the best values here at $99 completed. And we also have kits and it's pretty easy to build. And it is the original, as I said before, George Matson designed license, officially licensed product. And it is a fantastic buy and fantastic product. And uh, enjoy. Uh, make some music and enjoy yourself. Thank you. So we've got the large MST system. Do you like analog synthesizers? Me too. This now comes with the new 07 buff mult. The 07 buff mult allows you to take voltage sources Take the same voltage source, plug it in here, and you can have it out in many places.